Okay, our focus today is going to be doing reality problems or real life problems using systems and equations to solve those problems. All right, so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to have to read a word problem, use that word problem, write our own equation, um, and then take that into slope intercept form, and then graph it and find our solution. So, kind of quite a few steps in it. So, let's just go ahead and read this first problem. It says Gregory's Motorsports has motorcycles which are two wheels, and ATVs, which are four wheels, in stock. The store has a total of 45 vehicles that together have 130 wheels. So what I'm trying to figure out is, well, how many motorcycles and how many ATVs do they actually have? So how many, how many motorcycles and how many ATVs? So the first thing I'm going to do is I want to identify and label uh, X and Y. So I'm going to identify and label uh, X and Y to one of the two vehicles. So I'm going to call X my motorcycles, and Y is going to be my ATVs. Okay. So anytime I use X, I'm going to be referring to the motorcycles, and Y is going to be ATVs. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to do is I need to pull out key information. So I notice a couple things. I notice the total is 45. So what that's basically telling me is saying, hey, if I take the motorcycles, which is X, and I add it to the Y, which is ATVs, if I add those two together, the total is going to be 45. So I'm going to set those equal to 45. So I did X plus Y equals 45 because the total of the motorcycles and ATVs is equal to 45. My other one's a little more difficult in that I have 130 wheels, okay? Well, that's where, excuse me, that's where this is important, with motorcycles being two wheels and ATVs being four wheels. So what I'm going to do is this. Since motorcycles have two wheels, that means I would have 2x, okay? I'm going to add that to my ATVs. ATVs have four, so I'm going to put four with the y. Okay, so two with the X because it's motorcycles and that's the number of wheels with a motorcycle. Four with Y because that's the number of wheels with ATVs. I know that if I add those wheels, all those wheels together, I'm gonna, going to get a total again of 130 wheels. All right, so my two equations are X plus Y equals 45 and 2X plus 4Y equals 130. Okay, so I know that from doing those two different types of problems, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and change those into slope-intercept form. So I'm going to change this first one into slope-intercept form. So I'm going to take x plus y equals 45. I want y to be by itself, so I would subtract x. This would give me 45 equals negative x plus 45. So there's my first correct equation in slope-intercept form. Now I'm going to go ahead and take this one. I'm going to take 2x plus 4y equals 130. Uh, on this one, I'm going to subtract 2x. So I'm going to try to get x over on the other side. That gives me 4y. I get negative 2x plus 130. I couldn't combine those because those aren't like terms. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to divide by 4. I need to do that to both sides, so I'm going to divide by 4. I get y equals a negative 2 divided by 4 gives me a negative 2 fourths, which also simplifies down to 1 half. So a negative 2 fourths x plus 130 divided by 4. Well, 4 goes into 120 30 times. Uh, 32, so I believe this to be 33, but I'm going to check real quick. I'm going to check with my calculator. 130 divided by 4 gives me 32.5, actually. So I'm going to do 32.5. So here are both of my equations in slope-intercept form. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and graph them. I'm going to use Desmos, so I'm going to go ahead and graph them on here. So I'm going to enter in y equals negative x plus 45. Enter, and then I'm going to put in y equals negative 2 fourths. And I'm going to put that x over there. x plus 32.5. Okay. 
And I, I'm going to, I'm going to zoom out here because apparently I can't see where they intersect. Oh, I see it right there. So I'm going to scroll over there and I'm going to see where they intersect. And it looks like they intersect at 2520. Okay. So the intersection point is 2520. So 2520. So what I need to know is I need to know that this is my X value and this is my Y value. So what this is telling me, it says, hey, what is X? It's the motorcycles. So there are 25 motorcycles. And there are 20 ATVs. I could plug in 25 and 20 to figure out how many motorcycle wheels there were and how many ATV wheels there were. But I really don't care. I just wanted to know how many of each vehicles. All right. So let's go ahead and look at another problem. This one you might like a little bit more. This one's about Steph Curry. He had a heck of a game the other night. Managed to make 18 ba bucket baskets from the field, which were two-point baskets and three-point baskets. No, he did not make any free throws. When it was all said and done, he had scored 44 points in the win over the Cavs. Woohoo! All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a system of equations with using Steph Curry. So what we have here is we have two different types of baskets. We have a two-point basket and a three-point basket. So X is going to be my two-point basket. Y is going to be my three-point basket. Okay, so I have X and Y. So now I'm going to go ahead and write my equations using this. Okay, I see that he makes 18 baskets. Okay, so I know when I take X and I add it to Y, I'm going to get 18. I also know that he scored a total of 44 points. Okay, but what keep in mind are two point baskets and three point baskets in basketball. All right, so. X is going to have a 2 next to it because that's the value of X each time. Two points for every X. We're going to add that to 3Y. The reason I got the 3 is because each 3-point basket is worth 3 points, and so that's why I put a 3 there because that's the value of each. All right? We're going to set that equal to his total points scored, which were 44. Okay? I have my two systems, my two equations. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put them in slope intercept form. So I'm gonna go X plus Y equals 18. I'm gonna subtract X because I wanna to try to get Y by itself. This will give me Y equals negative X plus 18. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and change the other one into slope intercept form. 2X plus 3Y equals 44. I'm going to go ahead and get x on the right-hand side by subtracting 2x. I get 3y equals negative 2x plus 44. I take 3y, and I'm going to have to divide it. So I'm going to have to divide the other side by 3. This could be going to become a little messy. y equals negative 2 over 3x plus... And I'm just going to keep this as a fraction because I think it ends up in a decimal. So I'm just going to keep it as a fraction of 44 over 3. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to take those systems of equations. I'm going to go ahead and graph them again. I'm going to use Desmos again. So I'm going to clear off these two equations. I'm going to put those in there. Y equals negative X plus 18. So there's the one equation of the line. I'm going to enter in the other one. Y equals negative two-thirds X plus, I'm going to go 44 slash 3. Okay. So I graphed both of those. So I'm going to go over here and look. I see a point where they meet. It's right there. It says 10, 8. So I'm going to go back to my paper. I'm going to write that coordinate point down, 10, 8. X is my 10, Y is my 8. So I'm going to take a look, and it looks like since X is my 10, that's the number of two-point baskets. So we made 10 two-point baskets. 
He made eight three-pointers or three-point baskets. Okay, quite a night. All right, good luck.